Hey, Denar Land Ninja here. Uh, today is Wednesday, May 22nd, 2019, and I have an update from Mark Z. He said, I am not under an NDA this morning. We are still in a great spot. I'm not worried. No CMKX packages yesterday. I'm not going to let that scare me, though. I've been sitting on news for two days that I'm absolutely not at liberty to share. Mr. Cottrell is not 100% yet. It was very much expected last night. We were told there were some changes. I very much expect them to go today at this point. My banking contacts seem pretty confident we'll see our 800 numbers today. Package deliveries, I will be very surprised if we don't see them this afternoon because I'm very much expecting them this afternoon. Uh, we're getting articles this week out of Iraq stating clearly that they are in the midst of changing their value of their currency. That is more than a little encouraging. Uh, Mark also said, China did release a number of articles explaining exactly how much U.S. debt and when and what they have bought. That is absolutely the big stick. They've been waving the carrot in front of our faces for a while as a reminder that they own enough of our debt where if they fire sale our debt, they could crash our economy. We have a couple things coming together right now. You have the IMF running absolutely terrified because of the housing bubble. You see the housing bubble coming loose in western U.S. You see it coming apart all over Europe and Canada's market is in the middle of a free fall. So the IMF is in downright panic mode. They need this out the door immediately. Fractional fiat banking is largely dependent on debt. Well, it's 100% dependent on debt. The majority of that debt is financed or covered by home loans, property loans, housing. So when the market starts coming unglued, fiat comes unglued. And that's all I have for now. Thanks for tuning in.